Hello and welcome to Access DNR, the monthly video newsletter from the Maryland Department of Natural Resources. In this episode, we help beautify the Potomac, create oyster habitat while improving navigation, and take a detailed look at the state of our coast. I'm your host, Anna Lucenti Hoffman, and this is Access DNR. We begin this episode at Mallows Bay Park in Charles County at an annual cleanup event hosted by the Alice Ferguson Foundation. After brief remarks by Admiral Tim Gallaudet of the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration and our very own Admiral Secretary Mark Belton, volunteers geared up and took to the water to enhance this proposed National Marine Sanctuary. For several hours, crews picked up trash and debris from the river and its shorelines, making use of kayaks and small boats to access remote locations. Participants were rewarded with stunning views of the impressive ghost fleet and, of course, the pride that comes with environmental stewardship. Next up, we're off to Harris Creek in Talbot County to address boating navigation hazards created during oyster restoration work. To clear the safety hazards, department crews aboard our tugboat, the Big Lou, motored out to predefined locations. They then used an excavator to level underwater high spots comprised of rock and shell. Excess material was brought onto the barge one scoop at a time until all the problem areas were addressed. Afterward, the accumulated material was then carefully redistributed to surrounding reefs, substantially increasing the creek's hard bottom habitat, a great benefit to oysters and countless other species that depend on it. Later in the month, we traveled back to the eastern shore, this time in Dorchester County for the first ever State of the Coast Conference in Cambridge. In addition to remarks from Governor Larry Hogan and a message from outer space, the sold out event featured multiple opportunities to network with colleagues and scientists and learn about a wide range of environmental topics, including an immersive discussion on climate change opportunities and risks. For our last recap, we stay close to home at Sandy Point State Park in Anne Arundel County to celebrate the conclusion of the department's brand new job training program. Work to Live Well, a partnership between us and the Department of Labor, Licensing and Regulation, focused on providing opportunities for unemployed and underemployed persons to explore and gain entry to green careers. Groups from Baltimore City and Cambridge were given training and hands-on experience with our dedicated staff and industry partners in a variety of settings and occupations. We're very proud of all our graduates and look forward to working alongside them. Well, that's a wrap for this month. For the latest news and programs, please be sure to follow us on social media, subscribe to our magazine and newsletters, and download our free mobile app. For those of you on YouTube, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to share our videos with family and friends. I'm Anna Lucenti Hoffman. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next month on Access DNR.